Good evening. It's Friday, January 3, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in Newsbiz tonight. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella is considering Block 27 in the North Reclamation Area in Cebu City as a possible relocation site for the Cebu North Bus Terminal. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella is considering a lot in the North Reclamation Area as the relocation site for the Cebu North Bus Terminal. The city-owned 3.3-hectare Block 27 is located near the Mahiga Creek, which serves as the boundary of Cebu City and Mandawi City. Labella said it is a suitable area for the relocation and that he will be forming a committee that will study its impact to the traffic situation in the area. He said close coordination between Cebu City, Mandawi City and Cebu Province is also essential to the relocation. The move to relocate the Cebu North Bus Terminal came after Mandawi City Mayor Jonas Cortez decided not to renew the terminal's lease contract which will expire in October. Labella said the relocation of the terminal will make Cebu City more accessible to the people from the north while residents in the city will have easier access to the terminal. Labella and Cortez are expected to meet within this month to further discuss the relocation of the Cebu North Bus Terminal. Nico Tubo News Bits Tonight Five motorcycles slid on the south coastal road in Talisay City this morning due to an oil spill. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. The City of Talisay Traffic Operations Development Authority impounded a unit of my bus after its crude oil spilled along the south coastal road in Talisay City past 6 this morning. Five motorcycles slid due to the oil spill that affected the road from Barangay Tanque to Barangay San Roque. City Toda Chief Jonathan Tumulak said no serious injuries were reported but he assured to assist the affected motorists if they decide to file charges. Tumulak said based on the city's CCTV footage, the driver of the MyBus unit who was identified as Brian Tianyo kept on driving despite knowing about the oil spill. The city Toda issued a temporary operator's permit against Tianyo for reckless driving and defective parts of the bus unit. Tumulak revealed that the management of my bus will send an apology letter to the city government. Personnel of the city Toda immediately put wood shavings and cleaned the affected road to prevent further incidents. Kenneth Torres, Newspits Tonight. The Department of the Interior and Local Government has sued the municipality of Hinatilad in Cebu for failing to comply with President Rodrigo Duterte's order to clear public roads of obstructions. Here's Nico Tubu for the details. The Department of the Interior and Local Government has sued the municipality of Hinatilan, Cebu, and nine other local government units in the country for failing to comply with President Rodrigo Duterte's order to clear public roads of obstructions. DILG Undersecretary Epimaco Densing III announced that they filed complaints for grave misconduct and gross negligence before the Office of the Ombudsman on December 16, 2019. Other respondents were the local chief executives of Ginsilban Camigin, Pili Camarines Sur, Sagay Camigin, Mantikao Misamis Oriental, Pagsanhan Samar, Caragadava Oriental, Aurora Zamboanga del Sur, Baco Oriental Mindoro, and Lapuyan Zamboanga del Sur. Of the 1,534 cities and municipalities, 101 failed during the assessment, 15 of which earned the lowest score. Then Singh said they will also file cases against LGUs from Abra, Davao del Norte, Samar, Benguet, and Cebu once the documentation will be completed. During Duterte's State of the Nation address in 2019, the President gave the mayors 60 days to reclaim all public roads that are being used for private ends. The DILG then issued a memorandum in relation to Duterte's order. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. 
The Minnesota Timberwolves defeated the Golden State Warriors 99-84 in the National Basketball Association on Friday morning. Timberwolves went on an 18-3 run in the first quarter and led by as much as 22 points in the first half. The Warriors answered with an 11-2 run that started in the final minute of the third quarter and carried into the fourth. With more than four minutes left to play, Damian Lee's basket helped the Warriors to cut down the lead to eight at 92-84. Nas Reed scored 13 points and Kellen Martin contributed 12 points, all for the Timberwolves. Glenn Robinson III tallied 16 points for the Warriors, while Eric Pascal had 13 points. Minnesota was missing Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, while the Warriors was without D'Angelo Russell, along with the long-absent stars Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. The Warriors are set to face Detroit Pistons on Sunday morning, January 5, while the Timberwolves will take a showdown against the Cleveland Cavaliers on Monday morning, January 6. Kenneth Torres, News Pits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.